incoming message. Let's talk about giving and receiving. Now we often think of these as separate actions, one person giving and the other receiving, but the truth is that they are just two sides of the same coin because one cannot exist without the other. If you are willing to give but struggle to receive, you are missing out on an important part of the exchange and you are actually cheating someone else of their experience of joy. You are blocking someone's blessing. When I was a boy, there would be occasional Sundays when a sizable number of my family members would go out for lunch. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and siblings together, all invading some unsuspecting restaurant. And invariably, after all had finished eating, the bill would arrive. My father, grandfather, or one of my uncles would pick up the check to pay and then an argument would ensue with all of the other men in the family attempting to take ownership of the responsibility of paying that bill. Dollars would be slipped into other people's pockets. The bill would be grabbed out of hands. Debates would begin. It was a circus with everyone vying for that valued position of sugar daddy. It was truly an embarrassment of riches. And let me tell you, as a child, it was teaching that giving was acceptable, but that receiving was somehow a weakness. So think about this in your own life. When someone offers to buy your lunch, what is your first reaction? Is it to insist, no, no, you don't have to do that. Or maybe you quickly scramble to pay them back later because you're not comfortable accepting that gesture. But in doing so, you are essentially rejecting the pleasure that they get from giving. You are interrupting the natural flow of generosity. And in moments like that, the only appropriate response is simply thank you. Allow yourself to receive without resistance. Now, why is this important? Well, because learning to receive graciously, it's about more than just social etiquette. It's about vulnerability. It's about accepting the fact that sometimes we can lean on other people, that we do not always have to be the strong one who gives and never takes. When we allow ourselves to receive, we're actually opening up to connection. We are letting someone else show that they care and we're acknowledging that we are worthy of that kindness. And there's another layer here as well. If you desire greater prosperity, abundance, or success in your life, you have to learn to embrace both giving and receiving. If you only give, you are essentially telling the universe that you're good at putting energy out, but not so much at letting it flow back to you. You are limiting the abundance that can come into your life because you're not open to it. Think of it like breathing. You wouldn't just exhale without ever inhaling, right? So you need to be both. Being able to receive does not make you weak, needy, or selfish. It makes you balanced. It makes you gracious. It means you understand that abundance is about the ebb and flow, giving when you have something to offer and receiving when someone else does. And yes, it can be uncomfortable at first. It might feel like you're imposing or taking too much, but the reality is by accepting with grace, you're not only allowing abundance to come into your life, you're also giving someone else the gift of being able to give. So the next time someone offers you a compliment, a gift, or a helping hand, pause and take it in. Say thank you and receive it with an open heart.